I told Louie one time, I said, hey, I went, to, just so you know, I went from 903 to 1,080 squat. And you said, you're full shit. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, so what he said was, and I told him kind of how I did it. I said, here's how I did it. I did box squats. I kind of used a version of your Circa Max stuff that you that you laid out in the past. And uh, I kind of created my own version of it, but I did it with my straps. I did it with briefs on and my suit and the straps up. And he was always against like the straps mm -hmm. up. and. You certainly would never wear a squat suit and squat to a box. Was that on a box with yeah. the straps up? Yeah, okay. I would squat onto a box. And he was like, well, he's like, that's the wrong way to do it. And I said, uh, Louis, I'm going to tell you again. I went from a 903-pound <laughs> squat to a 1,080 squat, you know? And I was doing similar stuff in the bench shirt and stuff, too. I would, mm -hmm. you know, I wear the bench shirt and have bands on there and chains on there and stuff. But I think that. You know, somewhere along the lines, he 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 knew what he knew, right? And mm -hmm. then sometimes you maybe start to get kind of closed off to like new ideas or concepts, and so maybe he just didn't want to. Yeah, he didn't want to hear it. He wanted to kind of try his his own stuff out. Yeah, you know? it could be. And how come we don't hear more about that? Is it because it's West Side and people don't want to, you know, badmouth it or whatever you want to? I, I think there's a couple of reasons. Is Louis Louis knows his shit. Mm -hmm. I've I've spoken to. <sighs> maybe a thousand strength coaches you know and a lot of really reputable ones there's there's very few that i would put in the same i would say louis a fucking genius when it comes to this stuff he figures shit out that people just don't think about and i think with that comes a level of arrogance is a bad it's what i want to say but it's not the word I want to say, mm -hmm. where I would not expect him to to be anything different. To where if you're a, a, a master of a certain kung fu discipline, okay, then you're the master of that discipline. You're gonna think all other disciplines suck, and that this is the only discipline that's really the best. You should think that if you're the master of that discipline. Where if mm -hmm. you're Ken Leisner with hit training, there's nothing better than hit training. And if you're learning from these people, you should understand the bias is strong. It's really strong. So just know it for what it is and don't fault the person for that because it's taken 50, 60 years for that to be developed. If you're looking at that as an outsider looking in, you can see faults in that because you see that there's more than one way. You know, if you talk to Louie, there's one way. That's it. There's one way and everything else is wrong. And his way is the right way. There's other people that say that too. You know, Ken Leisner would have been one and, right. you know, others. So, and that's, they should, they should believe in that, that heart. So if you're going to be the master of your own discipline, then be the master of that discipline. But my view on it is understand those disciplines and cherry pick from everything and be the master of none except the person that you're trying to help in front of you okay and you won't be known for a specific methodology you, you see what i'm saying so i can't fault him for that because that would be the same as faulting the master of any discipline and with genius comes arrogance and should i'm not a genius so i have to work with what i have yeah. you know and the only concern the only thing that can, that i want is the best for the person that I'm wor working with. Now the genius is gonna think, give me that person and I'll make them better. And could they? Maybe, probably. You know, that that's the, the argument of anybody that wants to criticize what Louie does and they're a trainer as well. Here's the deal, trade athletes. So you take one of his multi-ply guys into your gym and get them ready for a meet better than he can and he'll take one of your sprinters or whoever it is, give it to him, let him get them ready for the next meet, and let's see who comes out on top. You know, what's that multiply going to do with six months training with this guy, and vice versa? Who's going to have the greater results? I know the answer, <laughs> right? So <laughs> that has to be understood. So it's a complicated answer that I'm providing, but it's the only way I know how to provide. I came from the there's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from
the love. 